welcome to all <coughs> this is Elisa this is the demo for exercise number one as I told I want to tell uh, give you a demonstration for the first exercise in this video uh, this is Ubuntu Linux environment <coughs> In this, uh, the 1A is a booting process of Linux. The concept can be uh, referred in the material. I want to tell, give you demo for XS 1B basics Linux commands. These are the commands I want to give you demo. See this. This is a Ubuntu environment. Open the terminal, right click, open the terminal. Uh, here we type all the commands. What's the first uh, command? Just wait. Oh, yeah. Echo SRM. So here we type ECHO echo. Whatever we type, not only SRM, it, what, it is a const, it is a string. No? SRM something if you type whatever you type it that will get display see SRM university something okay <clears throat> second one clear the screen okay and that one date calendar password this and all you can easily <coughs> practice yourself for changing the password it will ask you to enter the old password first and then new password twice come to the next command ls list out all the files in the present working directory this ls list out only the name of the files suppose if you want to list out all the details about the files you have to type ls minus l you see here all uh, file permissions uh, linking of files, the owner of the file, the size of the file, all information about the file get displayed in ls minus l. And the next command ls minus a, this list out all files, including hidden files. Some of the files are hidden. All the files start with the dot are hidden files. It will also get displayed if you put ls minus a. Cat f1, f1 is the name of the file. Cat F1 means it display the content of the file. Before that, we didn't create any file. So I'll uh, create the file using a command cat greater than any file name. I have given the file name as F1. Press enter. Here you type the content of the file. A, B, 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 C, 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 D, 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 E, 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 something you type. Then finish typing by pressing control D. Now you put ls, you see the file f1 has been created, clear. Now if you want to see the content of the file, put the command cat f1, see the content get displayed. For your better understanding, I clear the screen and I will go to the next command, uh, wc, word count, wc file name, any file name it will give you number of lines, number of uh, words, number of characters. And then name of the file words this is character this is words this is uh, sorry this is line this is words this is characters suppose if you want to get only the number of lines of the file f1 you use the option wc minus l f1 it will give you only the number of lines <coughs> all the Linux commands the format comes in this way Command first, option second, arguments third. There are three parts in a command. Command is op uh, mandatory. Ops, options and arguments are optional. If you want, you can use any option or you no need to give. Okay. This is the argument. It depends upon the command. If you want arguments, you can give arguments. So if you understand the format of the command, then you can easily understand all other commands. Now we move to the next command. Copy the file into another file we have a file f1 i want to copy the file f1 into another file f f1 into f2 now you put ls see f1 has been copied into 
f1 has been copied into f2 clear and then mb command is for rename the file if i want to rename the file f2 into f3 i am typing like this so this command will rename the file f2 into f3 now you put ls see f2 has been renamed as f3 clear and then remove rm to delete a file we use rm so i wanted i am going to delete the file f3 rm f3 now you put ls you see f3 has been removed and head and tail head command display the top lines of the file the file f1 has some lines just i want a top two lines head minus two f1 only two lines get displayed in tail if you want last lines suppose i want last three lines of file f1 then tail minus three f1 clear okay i clear the screen and directories if you want to make a directory we give mkdr and the directory name i have given the directory name as alias mkdr alias put ls if you put ls alias directory alias appears so the directories are uh, printed in blue color uh, ordinary files are uh, printed in white color so in order to differentiate ordinary file with the uh, directory color changing is there color uh, more identification is there if you want to get into the directory you put a cd alias now you see we have get into the directory alias if you want to come out of the directory cd space double dot now we are in the previous directory to check which directory we are in use the command press in working directory pwd this is the name of the directory currently we are in that is press in working directory suppose uh, if you are somewhere else uh, like uh, inside the cd if you want to come into the home directory home directory is the directory where which uh, the directory which you get immediately after you logged in that is a home directory of your login for that you just type cd clear okay now i move on to the file name substitution ls <coughs> ls uh, file name substitution suppose if i uh, if i have uh, many files i create another file for understanding this command i am going to create few more files i am going to create the file f2 okay and uh, i create another file get something i type press control d to complete the edit 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 and another file i am going to create yet okay now you see ls we have many files f1 f2 get uh, yet uh, like that if you want to display if you want to display only the file start with f and followed by anything the question mark represents any character you see the file start with f and followed by any any character get displayed <coughs> ls get yet sorry ls g d y arc it this command represent this command uh, specifies list out the name of the file start with the g p r y either one of g p y is the first character and the second and third character will be et such a file will get displayed get and yet get displayed okay similarly here this ls a minus d comma l to m r i n g it means any file name start with either a b c d r l m and followed by r i n g for example uh, a d a r i n g a ring b r i bring and uh, l r i n g lering 
mring ring like that if you have any files that file gets displayed io redirection this command we already practice creation of a file this is the greater than symbol represents output redirection the less than symbol represents input redirection get the input from this file that's the meaning of input redirection so this one gets the input from f1 and find the word counts okay and i move on to piping uh, piping so in piping there are two commands here the piping output of one command will be trans is used to transfer into another command okay so we have a file f1 okay here if you put a head minus 3 f1 the first three lines gets displayed okay uh, instead of displaying this out contained into the monitor what i am going to do is i am going to store this straight minus 3 f1 i'll store this content instead of storing in the monitor this content in the pipe so if you type the second command the second command will get the input from the pipe so the output of the first command will transfer into the input of another command the second command i am going to type tail tail minus 2 it means what happened tail minus 2 means last two lines last two lines of what last two lines of this output it means first three lines get displayed in the first command that is in pipe what is there in pipe the last two lines so we'll get b and c second and third line so if you want second and third line we can use head and tail together using pipe and uh, we can uh, print any number of any uh, range of lines environment variable ec hu echo dollar variable name usually all the content of variables are displayed using dollar symbol there are some uh, system variables they are represented only in capital letter home is a system variable which contains the path of the home directory see this is the path of the home directory similarly we have a system variable or environment variable called ps1 this contain the prompts distinct one we are getting something uh, before the dollar in our uh, prompt node that is the prompt string one so there is a coding for the prompt string so this we could not understand because of this coding only we are getting this prompt okay similarly there is another prompt string called ps2 prompt string 2 that is the continuation line suppose if you continue editing in the second line third line this get displayed and uh, we have another uh, <coughs> environment variable called path path this path contains path of executable files separated by colon you see up to colon there is a one path then from this column to next to colon another path this is third path and so on there are many paths separated by colon all the executed files will be searched from any one of this path only so if you want to execute your own executable files you have to put your executable file in any one of this directory if you put any one of the directory then the command can be executed anywhere as an executable file okay i'll come to file permission the last command how to change the file permission before that i clear the screen sorry this is case sensitive so it is not working i press ctrl d and i quit clear okay you put ls minus l you see the content of f1 will uh, change the file permission this is the file permission r w r r there are three levels of security in linux one is user security for user security for the group members of the same user the group members and the third one is the security for 
the people who are not in the group. What do you mean by group? Group means many logins can be clubbed together as a group. For example, the logins of second year CSE all together can be grouped as second year CSE group. So the owner <coughs> is one level of security, group members another level of security, others third level of security. So there are three sec levels of security. Similarly, there are three permissions. The one peri first one permission is read, second permission is write, third permission is execute. Read permission is uh, mentioned as R, write permission is mentioned as W, and execute permission is mentioned as X. Okay. So if that hyphen represents the permission is not given to the file. That's the meaning of it. Now you tell me. Can you understand what is the meaning of RWO hyphen or hyphen hyphen or hyphen hyphen or WO hyphen represents the user or the owner have read and write permission for the file F1 clear and the group members group members of the user have read permission but not write and execute permission. The other members also having read and write read permission there is no write and execute permission for the other members. This is the meaning of this file permissions. So suppose if you want to change the file permission, for example, there is no execute permission for the user. How to add permission to the file? The command is ch mode uh, for the user. U, U means user, G means group, O means others. For the user, I am going to add, you put plus sign, add execute permission. X means execute permission. For what? For the file F1. Can you understand this command? CH mode change file permission. For the user, I am adding execute permission for the file F1. Clear? Now we enter. You put ls minus l. We'll uh, check the file content. Sorry, check the file permission of F1. You see? Read, write, execute permission has been added to the file F1. Suppose if you want to add write permission for group members and others, we can club like this. Group members and others, I am going to add write permission for file F1. Okay. Now you see ls minus f. Here you see the F1 having read write execute permission for user sorry something happened group and others oh sorry group and others i have given write permission we will change it to execute permission write permission sorry read r means read write means w okay ls minus l you see write permission has been given to group members and others Similarly, you can uh, remove the permission also. If you want to remove the permission, you put minus. Instead of plus, you put minus. See ls minus l. See the content of uh, f1, file permission of f1. Write permission has been removed. Okay. This is the last uh, demo. Thank you for watching this video.